So the first question of exercise 5b, page 74, you have to write down just true or false against the statement in the no notebook as well. First do in the book and be with me. First part of question number one, minus 12 plus 15, take out your pencils and mark true and false in the book then you have to copy down in the notebook. Minus 12 plus 15 is equal to 15 plus in the bracket minus 12. So when you will remove the bracket at the right hand side, so plus minus gives you minus 12. So towards the left side, you see minus 12 is there and plus 15 is there. Towards the right plus 15, when there's no sign, uh, with the number to its left hand side, it means it is positive. So plus 15 and minus 12, both sides are equal. Both sides of equation are equal. Left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So the statement is true, write down true against the statement. So the first part is true. Second, three plus into minus five is an integer. Three plus in the bracket minus five. So when you will multiply both the sign plus minus gives you minus. Three minus five is an integer. Yes, it is an integer. Three minus five gives you minus two. Minus two is a negative integer. So the statement is true again. Third part, five plus into minus five is a positive integer. Now look, I'm going to solve five plus into minus gives you minus five. So five minus five equals zero and zero is neither positive nor negative. So it is not a positive integer. You cannot say zero is positive or negative. So this is false. Third part is false. Zero answer aate or unanikai is zero is a positive integer. So zero na positive hote na negative hote. That's why the statement is false. Minus 39 plus 14 equals 14 minus 39. So places interchange here, the statement is true. Commutative property, statement is true because plus 14 towards both the sides and minus 13 towards both the side, you will get the same answer to right hand side and left hand side. So the statement is true. Fourth part. Fifth minus 32 multiplied by zero is equal to zero. Yes, any number, any integer multiplied by zero gives you zero. So the statement is true. Fifth part is true. Six part, negative of minus five does not exist. Negative of minus five does not exist. So look, there are integers which has got their opposite integer. There, there is an opposite integer. You studied it in the uh, definitions for every integer, this is here, for every integer except zero, page 71, there exists an integer such that their product is one. Okay, this is
you can say that the negative of every integer exists. So if positive integer is there, its opposite is negative integer. If negative integer is there, its positive integer is there with the same uh, quantity, like with the same number. So minus five has got uh, its negative, which is plus five. So does not exist, it's false. Six statement is false because there exists plus five, which is negative of minus five. Two multiply by seven part. Two multiply by three plus five in the bracket, distributive property of multiplication over addition. And its right side is two multiply by three plus two multiply by five. So both the sides are equal. If you solve them, you will get the same answer to both the sides. And this is the distributive property. We did it before. True statement is true. Seventh statement is true. Eight. Three multiply by within the curly bracket five plus parenthesis minus two, then braces closed equals three multiply by five plus into the bracket minus two. You have to solve to get the correct answer. So let's see what is the answer towards both the sides of the equation. Part eight, I am doing it on the board for you people. Look why I am saying it's true or false. Three into five plus minus two, curly bracket off, equals second part. And the second side is the right side gives you three multiplied by five plus into minus two. So let's solve both the sides. Look, first you have to uh, change the sign inside the bracket. You don't have to solve in your notebook. Just look what is the answer. Plus minus is minus two in the braces equals three into five plus minus is minus two. So what to do first, first you will do multiplication here and here you will do the subtraction first because inside the bracket, the function is to subtract five minus two is three. Sign of five, absolute value, five is greater and its uh, sign is positive. That's why three is positive. The fives are 15 minus two. Then look what happened. 3 into 3 gives you 9. And here, 15 minus 2 gives you 13. So 9 is not equal to 13. The statement is false. I have solved this statement for you people because you must know why we say the statement is false. So write down against eight statement false. So this statement is false because the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side. Left hand side gives you nine as your answer and right hand side has uh, is 13. So both the sides are not equal. The statement is false. Then ninth part is Zero multiplied by two plus three in the bracket equals zero plus three. So again, we can solve both the sides to get the correct answer. So note down this one. This was the eighth part. In the next part, ninth part, zero multiply by two plus three equals zero plus three. 
So you have to prove, prove that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So let's do zero multiplied by two plus three gives you five in the bracket equals zero plus three. So here zero multiplied by five and here zero plus three. So look, look at the both sides. Their answers are zero into five is zero. Any number multiplied by product by zero multiplied by zero gives you zero and zero plus three, any multiply when you, any number, when you add it, add it with zero, the answer is the number itself. So both the sides are not equal. You can say this statement is false. So ninth statement is false. 27 plus into minus 27 is 54. So plus minus is minus again. I'm going to solve the, this part again for you people. Look. This is ninth part. And this is 10th part of question number one. Exercise is 5B. So, two, 27 plus into minus 27 in the bracket is 54. Look, I'm going to prove this. So, 27 plus minus plus multiply by minus gives you minus 27 equals 54. This is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. So 27 minus 27 is zero because both the quantities with both the quantities have same number and you will subtract 27 from 27 gives you zero and the right hand side has got answer 54. So both the sides are not equal. The statement is false. This is also false. So nine and 10, false. So this is the end of first question. Second question is simplify the following, give the heading, and now open your notebooks, solve these questions with me. Exercise five B and question number two. The heading is Simplify. So you have to simplify different statements given in the book. And the first one is, the first part is minus 29 in the bracket plus into minus seven bracket close plus 40. So you have to simplify a single answer, application of science. And first, in the very first step, you have to bring out all the numbers from the bracket and multiply the different signs given in the question. So minus 29 remains minus 29. Here, two signs are there and the bracket is given. Inside the bracket, minus 11 is there. 
So you have to multiply this sign, which is outer sign, out of the bracket, positive sign, with the negative sign, which is inside the bracket. So you cannot place both the signs with the number. So multiply these signs first. This bracket shows that you have to do the multiplication of signs or number first, and then you have to open the bracket. And then after doing that, you can solve the number. So plus minus opposite signs, minus sign. This is minus 11 plus 40. Now, according to the rule, you have to do subtraction and addition of these numbers. So minus 29 and minus 11 gives you, you have to add them. Minus into minus gives you plus. So same signs addition. Yesterday we did the multiplication of signs and I have, I have told you that same, whenever there are same signs, you have to do the addition. Same signs with the numbers. So minus and minus, you have to do the addition. So do the rough work with the question and get the answer to these two numbers, minus 21, 9 and minus 11. So you have to do the addition. Same signs, addition. So 9 plus 1 is 10, 0, 1 carry, 2, 3, and 4 gives you 40. But you have to put the sign with 40, which is with the greater absolute value, which is 29, and the sign will be negative. Minus 40 is your 9. You did the addition, but you put the sign negative because 29 is the greater absolute value. So plus minus 40, and you are left, you did this function, and you are left with plus 40. So plus 40, bring it down in the next step. This implies that plus 40 and minus 40, you can cross both the numbers as minus 40 plus 40. Plus minus is minus. You have to do this subtraction. So 0, 4 minus 4 is 0. So your answer is 0. So 0 is neither positive nor negative. Just write down 0 as your answer. This is the answer to first part of your question 2. This is very important. You have to simplify different parts. So I am doing two parts for you people. The rest two you will do by yourself and let me know tomorrow or on monday that you can do the parts or not if not i'll solve the rest part for you people but first try by yourself this is the first part second part with me so I hope you have done the first part. In the second part, the equation is minus 231, part two, question number two. Exercise is 5B. Okay, minus 231 in the bracket, plus 51, plus into minus 20. So you have to multiply the signs and bring out all the quantities from the bracket. So this implies that from the first step, step down, we will do 231 out of the bracket plus 51 plus minus is opposite signs. So sign of subtraction is there, minus 20. Next step. Now, do the rough work again. Minus 231 plus 
51 unit stands and here in this figure you have unit stands in hundreds so there is nothing in the hundreds put zero here just to solve correctly so opposite signs you have to do subtraction plus minus is minus you have to do the subtraction so 1 minus 1 is 0 you cannot subtract uh, uh, 5 from 3 so bring borrow 1 and 13 minus 5 is 8 1 minus 0 is 1 180 is your answer now look at the greater absolute value which is 231 and its sign is minus so you will put negative sign with 100 80 231 is the greater figure its sign is minus so you will put minus with the answer here you solve these two quantities and you get get minus 180 as your result then bring minus 20 down to the step in the next step you will solve minus 180 and minus 20 so same signs addition same signs means minus into minus is plus so you will do addition because you are doing addition and subtraction so you will perform the function of addition with the same sign so now add 0 to 0 you have 0 add 8 to uh, 2 and you will have 0 10 So zero is here. One is carry. One plus one is two. Two hundred is your answer. And now the greater value is one eighty, which has got sign negative sign. So put negative sign here with two hundred. Your answer is minus two hundred. This is the second part of question. Question number two, exercise five B. Page seventy four of the book. Hope you have done this question. You have to do the first question true false upon your notebooks. Leave the page for that, and then start with the second question. i have done two parts for you people so remember when you are doing addition and subtraction you have to multiply the signs and which signs comes after the multiplication of both the signs you will do the function with the numbers that function the negative if you get the negative sign you will do subtraction if you get positive sign after doing the multiplication you will do addition so always opposite signs subtraction same signs addition same signs means minus minus or plus plus gives you addition or minus plus uh, plus minus one and the same thing you have to do the subtraction I hope you have done this part also. So third part, let's do the third part also. We'll give you a little homework of part four. So the third part is minus one seven zero. Minus into minus ninety seven plus into minus ten. Now you can do by yourself minus one seven zero out of the bracket, then minus same signs addition plus ninety seven. You'll put the sign of addition. With ninety-seven, because you are multiplying minus with the minus, and you get plus as as a result. After multiplication, जो भी आपका साइन आता है वो ही आप लगाएं. 
So you are multiplying two signs, opposite signs, minus sign, minus 10. Now you simplified the equation and you get all the numbers out of the brackets. Now you can solve easily to so do the rough work again. Minus 170170 plus 97. So put zero here to bring in order your equation. Opposite signs minus sign. Now borrow one from seven. 10 minus seven is three. You cannot subtract six, uh, nine from six. So bring one here and you will get zero here. 16 minus nine. Seven. So the greater figure is 170 and its sign, it's the greater value is 170 and its sign is minus. So put minus here, minus 73 minus 10. Okay, now we have to do addition of these two numbers. You are left with minus 10. So solve it now. Three minus minus gives you the function of addition again. So do the addition. 3, 7 plus 1 is 8, 83. Absolute value, greater value is 73. So your answer is minus 83. Okay, children, do the fourth part by yourself. Your homework is part four of the same question, question number 